Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm sorry I wasn't around yesterday to post a reading. I did draw some cards. I just didn't do a reading because I have to put a good chunk of my day aside to make these readings and I really needed to focus on this article that I needed to get done yesterday. And the article was on aromatherapy safety and essential oil toxicology, which is one of the subject I am most passionate about when it comes to teaching because there's a lot of misunderstandings in regard to essential oils and how they differ from other botanical forms of therapeutics. And so it's a subject that I feel so strong about and I have an opportunity to teach at the Durango Confluence this summer uh, in late July. I do teach at schools uh, to herbalists, but it's an opportunity to teach to a greater community of people that I've never taught to before. And as part of that, they asked that I write an article for their Herbaria magazine that they put out. So that's what I was writing the article for. And while I've been working on this article for a number of weeks, I found a week or so ago that I was highly frustrated with my inability to be able to sit and write. And I realized that I had also been coincidentally munching on this trail mix that I noticed had milk as one of its listed ingredients just a couple of days ago. And I mentioned that because if you aren't aware, I am highly sensitive to dairy. Even though I was born in Wisconsin, it's kind of like a cruel joke from the world that whenever I consume any kind of dairy, whether it's butter or cheese or anything, it gives me cheese head. It makes me unable to formulate sentences. I say the wrong words in the place of other words. And what's so frustrating it is that I am highly aware of it. And I will hear myself say the wrong word and know that I'm saying the wrong word and I can't change it. So it's a very frustrating thing to realize that I've been dosed with dairy prior to going into teaching or trying to do anything where I have to use words. <laughs> I'm a human. I have to use words all the time. So it's just frustrating for me. So I am uh, really careful about not consuming dairy. So to realize that I had been just like dosing myself day after day after day by slowly working through this trail mix was, was not very uh, thoughtful of me and I didn't look out for myself. Hence why I had a lot of frustration writing my article. I really hunkered down and got through it yesterday and alas, have a 5,700 word article that I was able to send off this morning. So I feel good about that. Yay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into today's tarot. I apologize for that. Um, my um, absence yesterday. The opening card that we have for today is the Hierophant. The challenge that we are facing today is the King of Pentacles. The way we're going to get through the challenge is the strength card. And then the overall outcome that we have for today is the three of wands. So we have two major arcana that came in today that are presenting some lessons that we really need to look at in our life that we can't really avoid. And then we also have this energy of fire and earth that are coming in today with the different cards that we have, which brings up our value system and how our value system ultimately directs our will and where we put our energy and effort in every day. This opening card that we have for today is the Hierophant. So this brings in the energy of society and social order and how that impacts our day today, as well as this additional aspect of learning from something that we hold high value to in regard to our belief. So we see that this person is in this card and they look like they are a religious figure. And they are in the stance of teaching some kind of spiritual truth or something of value to these two people below or the audience that's in front of them. 
And so this is bringing up this idea that we may be seeking the advice of someone who is at a greater authority to us, some kind of spiritual teacher, even someone who we hold at high stature as far as what they've done in their reputation in this life. And we're going to them for some kind of wisdom or some kind of teaching that we can gather from their own experience. It's also bringing in this idea of listening to our own inner guidance because this is a card that's governed by Taurus which governs the throat and um, our ability to speak our truth and so it's also hinting to that idea in regard to if you found yourself stuck in some kind of place emotionally or even physically like in your job situation, in your living situation, in some situation in your life, where do you need to speak up and open up that current for communication and exchange? Now, the challenge that we have for today is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is an interesting card. It's a fixed earth energy, which has this, uh, Ah, this energetic of like stubbornness, like unmoving energy. And the thing that we need to consider is that when we're in an exchange with someone and they're trying to bring us information or some kind of uh, teaching, if we're unable to see it or we're unable to receive it, there's this stubbornness or resistance to actually receiving the information. It could also be a stubbornness in how we are in life. For instance, if we're being faced with this inter interaction with our community and uh, in this exchange with what we can learn from one another, but we're convinced or we've convinced ourselves we can do it all on our own. We have to work with that idea that is actually challenging our experience in our day to day life. It's also something that, you know, I'm working with myself. I know a couple a couple of years ago, I went into this kind of survival mode of like just grabbing as many jobs as I could. And now I'm, you know, looking at the fact that I don't really want to do everything on my own, but everyone assumes that I'm doing great, even though I'm like, yo, everyone, I'm not, none of us are, but like, hey, I can't do this all on my own. Neither can you and neither can I, but that stubbornness can get in our way of actually stepping into that new experience. Now, the way we're going to get through the challenge is the strength card. So this is another major arcana that we are working with today that is an energy of being willing to take risks and letting your movement be inspired from the heart. So we see that this person is you know, petting what looks like to be a lion that could likely rip her head off, but it seems like it, she has it under control. And behind her, there's this uh, like rope bridge. And so there's this energetic of encouraging us that if you don't like the way that things are right now, you have to be willing to take risks. You have to be willing to move towards what's on the other side of this bridge and focus on what's on the other side, even if it's unknown, rather than getting yourself caught up in looking down. And so in a lot of ways, this is a card of working with our own desire nature and our own spiritual nature and what ultimately feels called to move, to shift, and what drives us to act. Now, the ultimate outcome that we have for today is the three of wands. In the three of wands, we see this person looking across this body of water. They have one wand in their hand and there are two wands behind them. And this is the reluctant adventurer. This is someone who wants a new experience, wants to cross this waterway, which in the tarot is representative of some kind of emotional experience, being that it's a body of water. And so they want to cross it. They want to go into something new and yet they're reluctant. They have this hesitancy. And the message within this card is to keep moving because help is behind you. Help is on its way. And even though there are a lot of unknowns out in this experience and possibly unknowns within that 
you know, emotional realm, which we are needing to cross, there will be support, there will be help to, to, to guide you as you move through it. So we have some interesting cards today. And I do think it's important for all of us to realize that there is a lot more potential out there in the world to actualize and to embrace that will enrich our lives. And the only way that it can do that is if we let go of certainty. And when I say let go of certainty, I'm saying, you know, like the sense of limitation around what is possible in reflection of what has already happened. And it's interesting to consider that, you know, we can say, I've been in that experience. I know what it's like. And yet there are other people who have been through that experience too. And it has been a very different experience for them. So consider that we're still going through an experience and we're still writing the next chapter. And today we have a new moon. And so this is a very powerful day to write in the next chapter. I send you a good wish. See you soon.